the dance floor at this Havana nightclub every weekend. This time, half of them are from Switzerland. Cubans can usually tell the difference. He needs to move his hips more, she says. But not always. Tremendous feeling. Cuba may be best known for its classic American cars and pristine beaches, but tourists increasingly head to the Caribbean island for salsa dancing. Marisuri Garcia has a dance school in Switzerland. She receives visitors to Cuba in her second-story apartment on a rundown street in the center of Havana. Dancing helps you live better, she says, to look inside you and open up to be free in mind and body. Before they head to the nightclub, they need to warm up. Stretch their limbs and practice their steps. Salsa's origins are disputed, but most visitors to Marisuri's terrace turned dance studio say in Cuba they found the real thing. It's joy, it's joy of life. I, uh, I'm dancing three or four years, and now I, I will find my individual style. Salsa is uh, it's just fun, it's just, it's, it's the life. This group has come on a two-week package that includes beach time and city tours. But the important thing is to go home dancing better than when they arrived. Marisuri says she can even teach an American to dance, so we're going to put her to the test. Basic steps, hips. No, that doesn't just come out naturally. For a few seconds, she really can teach at least the basics. Because of U.S. travel restrictions, not many Americans make it to Cuba. But Mari Suri thinks salsa dancing could be a bridge, as more cultural exchanges are allowed by the Obama administration. Helping people overcome political differences on the dance floor. Shasta Darlington, CNN, Havana.